to tell it as it is, with your hosts, Leon George and Leary McRae. Real, real, real talk, real issues. <laughs> so, okay, thank you. Uh, now, what we yeah. will do, what, uh, what you can do is after you respond, we go for a quick break, and then we will uh, allow our listeners to get in on the um, program and give their views, and if so, we will come back and we read some emails and so on, if you have any here. Yeah. I think we have some emails well, to read. Well, I mean, so, um, I'm, I'm not against um, these persons that want to condemn them or whatever. I, I, I don't want to do such thing. I mean, I can have a, a gay person for my friend or, or, or a lesbian. I can have a gay person for my friend. But as I told, rightly told you a while ago, I don't think we're ready for this and we can accept such such, such, such situation no. in our society. Right. right? But no, John, just, John, just to say, okay, let me I just as you say that. I'm holding a point and remember... But said, um, John, remember, remember your point. As you yes. said that, Larry, I just want to ask one question straight out to you. You probably could, you could, probably could answer it in, with, when we resume at the break. Okay, okay go ahead. Right. If you, you say you have, you don't answer, but if you have a friend, a, a friend, and, and that friend has a same sex relationship, they are actually in, in relationship, and that person come to your home, would you allow them to, at least sleep together in your home. But you could probably take less because I want to miss a, I want John to respond and then we want us to go for a break. And we come back, we let the listeners come in come in on the program and give the views and if you have some the emails we want to try to get to read the emails that we are coming in. Yeah, Can I'll be respond? quite quick I'll be I'll be quite quick on this one, yeah. George. With one an, one word answer. No. You I could not good. sleep with your friend at me. Absolutely not. I agree. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. So what we do now is go for a break here, and we will come back. And uh, those of you who are listening, uh, doesn't matter what part of the world you are listening to us, you can always get in on the program and share your view, views with us. When you come back, I'll just give, give those numbers one more time and tell you how you could get in the, the, the program to participate. So we go for a break, quick break here, and then we come back in a few moments. Tell it as it is with your hosts. Leon George and Leary McRae. McRae. Real talk, real issues. Well, thank you and welcome back. Welcome back to the CCV Radio, the number what in the number one internet radio station around today. Well, welcome to Tell It Like It Is, and this is a time where we want our listeners to participate in the program. We we think we have said a lot, and um, this is your turn to respond. We have, uh, well, a few emails that we would like to read. And, you know, if you try, and I want to say that uh, when you send your email, before time you try to be brief and stick to the point, you know, so that we could get to read all the emails as much as, as much as emails, that, as much as the emails that come in, try to make it as, make a point as brief, brief, brief as, pos- as possible. Uh, let me give the numbers again and tell you how you can get into the roof program. For the folks listening in New York, the number is 1718-879-5560, extension 303. Uh, for folks in Canada, the listeners in Canada, it's 1416-8000-279, extension Nine four seven. For our listeners in the United Kingdom, your number for you to call is four four two zero three three one eight two six one four extension three three seven. You can also call us on Skype. You can send a text. You can you can text chat us on Skype. You can also reach us by MSN, and you can also send in your views by email and by email you new email us to ccvradio at ccvradio.com that's ccvradio at ccvradio.com well this is your time to participate to participate in the program well john is going to read a few of the emails that we have come come in so far and um to we'll get your views um so john are you ready with oh. those emails? Okay, fine business. Let's have the first one. And, uh, yes, that first one. Uh, 
Oh, let, let's see, let's see, make sure we've got it here. Uh huh. Oh, yes. It says, If my child is gay, I will disown him. I will respect his choice, however, I will instill in him from small that same sex is not natural. That is the first one we've got here. Uh, yeah. Could you just give the initials of the listeners? You don't have to call them. Probably just give the initials. Uh, if it's possible. Oh, yeah, if it's possible. It. Yes, CL. Okay, good. CL, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, um... You, you, uh, are you going to um, reply to it, George, or you, or you want me to? Well, again, you know, two things, two things, two things come up there. Two main, two main questions come there. Yeah. She said, "My child." Well, he or she is only my child, uh, unless he's a child. But when he grows into an adult, he's not your child anymore. He may be your son or daughter. And this is where you have to t- treat your children. When they're 10 years old, you treat them like 10 years old. When they're 18, you treat them like 18. So therefore, if your child now become, if your child now become an adult, you do not have any say or control over, or you, you, I should say you should not have any say or control in how they want to live their life. You could say also that I am not going to tolerate this or that in my in my home. If that's the way you want to go, it is your right to say, "Well, it's no problem. That's that's okay in my house." Or it's, it's your right also to say, "Well, I um I can't tolerate this in my house." I also note that you said that you will you will you will instill in, in him that that lifestyle is wrong. So mm-hmm. that when he grow up, you will hope you will hope that when he grow up, he will do that. But you see, many many um, there are many situations where parents do all they know and within their their ability to understand what was right from wrong, they do their best to put it over to the children, and sometimes even their best effort goes down the drain. Even the best effort, someday that child. It's very possible to turn away from the values you try to instill in them. Sometimes it may mm-hmm. stay with them. There are times it will Physical. stay, and sometimes it will go. Because, like I say, we live in, we live in a today a society that is changing, a world that is really growing fast and spinning, and so much things that we know when we as when we were growing up as a child. Mm-hmm. The world today is so different now mm-hmm. that it is wrong. I think it's even wrong for us to believe that. People or societies have not grown out of situations or, 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 um, or, or should think that society should remain the same way that we, that we, it, we were, it was when we were children, you know, so. Question, George. Yes. How do you react to the scripture which says, train up a child in the way it should go and when it is old, it will not. Depart. How do you but react first, to that? First, first, first to begin, how do you know um, I accept any scripture? No, I'm not saying that I, I don't accept it. That's the first thing you will know, because you know, people try to put scripture on you. And sometimes you try to tell a person about scripture when they don't, tell them, they don't even believe or accept the scripture that you you grew up with, your doctrine. That is telling you, tell, it's telling me now about your doctrine. Your doctrine said that. I don't know the doctrine I follow said that. That's the first that's the first thing we have to establish establish. However that, that, I, I however, let me say clearly, me as an individual mm-hmm. yes, I accept um I accept the teachings of the Bible and I'm a Christian. That that is me as an individual. But if you put in that question out in a general sense or to anybody else, you must put it from the point of view. You must take into consideration that sometimes a person does not follow the, follow, follow the same religious doctrine you follow. 
And I think we have a call on the line. Oh, the we lost. We just lost that caller. There, caller, you can call, caller. You can call back um, and see if you can get through it on the program. Yes. Yeah, so you asked, but let me, but let me answer the question first. You said to me, how do I react? Train up a child, and um, in a way that he should grow. And when he's in, when he grew up, he would not turn away from that. Yeah. Well. I, I don't know if I, I um I don't know if I well that is again a but I, to but, I, I, but I think uh, we can go back but, um no but let me let me let me, let me let me let me I need to answer the question okay go right ahead. yeah okay. I think that it is true however there are many situations where children do turn away and I think I was making that point earlier on that because of the changing trends in society today. Children do, uh, if what majority, what percentage? I don't know. I don't have the statistics. I don't have the statistics to show. This is statistics, right? Um, but children do turn away from the teaching that they get from their parents. Some people ask. Hello, good evening. Yes, I do. I will more have a comment. So, welcome. Hello, Cola. Cola, you keep um, trying. We don't know this. What is it? What did you? She. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, Mr. Kel, yes, Mr. John. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. I, I, that, that, I accept that. But yeah. there's, uh, there's the other situations where children don't stick to what they were taught. But I tell you something, you know, I firmly believe that if the child is, a, uh, is really trained, you know, there's a difference between training and teaching. <laughs> Remember, the difference between, you can teach someone to drive. By sitting them down and telling them what to do. You can even give them a manual. But when you sit next to them and put them on the road for a practical experience, that's training. <laughs> it may be a little technical yeah. thing there. But I can teach you something and you sit and listen to me. But training is when you participate in it yourself practically. And I firmly believe that if you really train children... They may seem to drift, but I always believe that if you've got a chain 10 feet long and you have it stacked at one end, you can go with that 10 foot chain in a circle and that circumference must have a radius of 10 feet. Mm -hmm. You can't I, go I know. beyond that. Right. You may go back and stay and play around, but you cannot go Beyond that ten foot um, circumference, right? And I don't know. Really, think, but I, tra training doesn't mean you you make a noise and quarrel with people. There, training means being with them from the time that they can take the breath until you have reached adolescence and adult life with them. There must be stick to itiveness, and it will work. But very often we slack our riding and we give up. Well. You're right, but let me tell. Let me just say this to you. Even when children go to school, a lot of our children don't know how to what you call reverse peer pressure. You may train a child in a particular way, and then if that child goes to school, the training that that child get from home and everything, when he goes into school to fit in. You realize that children in school practicing different values right. to what they were taught at home. And yeah. when they go to the school, they can't fit in because they are not with the norm, what considered the norm. You yeah. they come from a home that didn't teach them those type of standards. And right. therefore, that child is isolated, ostracized, and even condemned or demigrated because they don't fit in to what is in norm in school. So, therefore, uh, 
sometimes to deal with that peer pressure. They will want to disregard the training that they get from home, even if they do it with conscience conviction, that they're convicted by the conscience after, but just because they can't stand that peer pressure of the humiliation and the ostracism that might go through the, the, the condemnation, they will uh-huh. just want to drop the standards from home so that they will fit in. And no. my, uh, my answer to that is that if you are really training your child and you've developed that good rapport with that child from childhood onward, that child comes home and says, Mommy, it was rough today. And you can guess, then be there for them. And what you did not say because it was not necessary then, no, the child says it to you, you've got a chance to say, well, yeah. I'll tell you what, so-and-so. Okay. That let's, is let's parenting. Yeah, let's get back to the emails and let's uh, see what uh, some emails we see because we haven't. Some, like, seems like we having some technical difficulties in getting in, getting okay, the callers right. in. Okay, all right. <laughs> Where well, we go then with uh, me. another email, and um, this one is from LJ. LJ says, "Hi guys." Uh, taking a oh this uh, oh taking a revolutionary view. Same sex is a completely a, a complete no. Simply because same sex will not help the human race in terms of reproducing. That that's straightforward. Well, you know, again, yes, I cannot argue with that view. In terms, and the person, and the person is quite correct. They're straight to the point. Same-sex relationship cannot help the human race in terms of reproducing, but definitely it could help the human race in what they feel comfortable with, psychologically, in what they will want to choose for themselves. Because and a the person human, will say, "Look, race? yes, yes," and I say, "Yes." In that regards, in one way, yes, the person is right. In that regards, in in in, in the instances in which the person pointed, it cannot help the human race in terms of re- reproducing and reproduction. Yes, that is correct. <clears throat> There's no argument about that. However, if someone attracted to the same sex, they will know by going with somebody else, going with um, having that same sex relationship, they can't have children, they can't reproduce. And there's certain right, they will know that. So that they will already accept that. Mm-hmm. But to go with somebody of the opposite race, it wouldn't help them because they will feel uncomfortable going in somebody with going with somebody with the opposite sex only because of only because of the stigma of society. Hi, good evening. I am Candice and I am listening to the program. Really good topic. But I would just like to make a contribution to the discussion. So, Okay. Um, I can't speak for the Caribbean, but I can speak for what is happening here in Trinidad and Tobago. From what I am seeing is that people are coming out more openly about same-sex relationship. And when I look at same-sex relationship, I take into consideration lesbian gays as well as trans transgender i am someone i am studying in the field of education and that is a topic that always comes up in most of our classes because of the diversity of classroom where you have to face a children that is going to come into your classroom who come from gay families or who consider themselves gay, or who want who want to become some. I am born male, but I want to be a girl or a boy girl, and I want to be um, a boy. So this is something that is facing us. This is something that is real, and I really don't think we are totally ready for it. But we have to learn to accept it, and we have to learn to tolerate it. You know, you know, being get. Eventually, yes, I will be a teacher, and this is what I will have to face. So even though this may not be my morals and values, but this is something that I have to learn to accept. And I think that is what we as a society need to do from now, like learn how to tolerate it, learn how to accept it, so that when laws are enforced, we can know how to handle it, because it is something that is all over. And gays 
um, lesbians, transgender, they fight for what they want. So, so yes, the top next year? Mm-hmm. Except for one thing, though, I agree with you, but you know, I would agree with you at some point. Ma- many of them don't. You said about I want, I born a male and I want to be um, a female. So many, many of them accept themselves as a gay man, a gay woman. Mm-hmm. Many of them don't want to become female or male. They accept themselves that way. But I will give you a really life experience that I had. I had interaction with a 10-year-old boy who I recognized was showing female tendencies. And I questioned it. I said, maybe he's the only boy in his family, right? So I thought maybe, you know, because of that, he probably has female tendencies. But I actually heard that 10-year-old say, I do not want to be a boy. I am a girl. I want to be a girl. And if he is that at that age and he already knows that is what I want to be, then mm-hmm. who are we, you know, what, what are we yes. left for? Well, listen, that's that's now, a- now, that is the thing, I agree with you. Now, I remember I mentioned earlier on in the program mm-hmm. that I was listening to an interview with a person who had the first sex change operation in history. And mm-hmm. the individual said, I feel like a man trapped in a woman's body. Now, this individual that you talk about, this 10-year-old boy, it is quite yeah. possible that they f- actually feel like a girl, but they have a male, they have a masculine body, they have a physical the body, the physical body that you see is masculine, is, is male, but inside of them. And that is the way, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying so, it doesn't really, it, and that is true. But I'm telling you, there are also people who accepted themselves as male. I am a gay Man, I am a gay woman. There are also people who accepted that, accepted themselves that way, and mm-hmm. you know. So yes, you are. There are also people like that believe, and they will go for this exchange operation and that kind of yeah, thing because they, they don't right. The, the, but George, George, yeah. it, it, is, it is simply because they want to be. But you know what? We are omitting. Could anybody get into a very close conversation with them and ask? Why do you want to be? I am sure. I am sure there were many instances where people, because many of them will have sick counseling. They, 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 mm-hmm. Their parents will have sent them to counseling and all of that. I'm sure in many, many right. instances they will have received a lot of counseling. However, uh, right. Paula, we want to thank you for your uh, participation and we want to thank you for listening. And we want to get back uh, to, the, to the emails that we... Yeah, yeah. But there was the last email... Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for listening. Yeah. Yes, okay, this one is pretty long. Let me run it quickly. And uh, it says here, uh, uh, this one is coming from Maryland. It says Maryland, here, Maryland, yeah. Here, yeah, I'm taking a religious view on the matter. Same sex is no more than a personal choice. The yeah. image of God is both male and female and is reflected in... Uh, a, a godly union between males and females, where the creative power of God, his life-giving, his self-giving, and his moral nature are perfectly expressed. This is only possible in a heterosexual union. When God created a partner for Adam, he created Eve. A woman. Not another Adam. Mm-hmm. This means... That perfect partnership requires some level of difference as well as a level of similarity so great that Adam could cry out loudly. This is no bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. Sexual intimacy between a man and a woman is the normal method of male-female bonding uh, emotionally and physically Mm -hmm. because it, it corresponds to the design of our bodies. And because it is the normal means by which offsprings are created. If God had intended the human race to be fulfilled through both heterosexual and homosexual marriage, he would have designed our bodies to allow reproduction through both means and made both means of sexual intercourse healthy and natural. Homosexual and and, and homosexual anal intercourse <coughs> carries a high risk of disease. This is recognized in scripture where gay men are said to receive in their bodies the due penalty for their error. 
and that person has quoted Romans one twenty seven. And I want to come. I want to comment on that. And I mean, I agree with that person a hundred percent. A hundred percent, agree with that person because personally, um, I believe God created a man for a woman and a woman for a man. I don't believe God is creating a woman for a woman or no man for no man. So I would agree with that email writer. Well, let me say, say to um, I am not here to really agree or disagree. I just want to call it how I see it. I want to mm-hmm. call it from listening to the views of people who engage in same-sex relationships and so on. You know, I am not going to be any um, judge here tonight or any, or, 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 on the situation. And I, and I believe they are, whether we like it or not, people who engage in same-sex relationships also, or homosexual behavior and all of that, the fact mm-hmm. of the matter, they still remain human beings. Okay, yes, they are human beings. Right. And therefore, I think they also, whether we agree... Hello, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the program, um, Calitacitas. Hello, yeah. Um, good evening. Good evening, good evening sir. Go ahead, sir. Think, you're, on, uh, you're, live, you're live on CCP Radio. Yeah. Do you think, do you think um, same sex is caused by boys' school and girls' school? Well, I'm not, I see, I'm not sure if I understand. It's like boys' school and girls' schools. Um, could you clarify that? What do you mean by... Okay, by, by, school? by having, by having um, children, like, like having boys in a school together where they would see no girls, and having girls where they would see no boys. No, I don't well, think so. No, definitely I don't, I don't not. I don't think, I don't know Probably. if there's any, I don't know if there's any statistics on that. However... Uh-huh. Yes, there are certain situations where people, will, girls will want to experiment, and boys will want to experiment. Experiment, that's right. Mm-hmm. Ex- yeah, there will be experimentation in, 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 in time because they children at a certain age, are, age yeah. sorry, are very curious, and yeah, they I will want to explore. Yeah. yeah, they will want to explore their body. They will want to find out about certain things, and, and you see, this is where parenting comes in. And we should not hide anything from our children. From the age, doesn't matter. From the age, you can speak or understand. You start to teach them the different parts of the body and so on. So mm-hmm. this, 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 this reason for experimenting and all of this should really will come. We'll get less of it if our if we educate our children in the right way. Unfortunately, though, many parents would like to do it, but they just don't have the level of understanding. In how they should go about it. 